Hey, what's up guys? Planet Airsoft here. I haven't done a review in a really long time, but today that's going to change. This is a little bit different than my usual reviews would be like, though, because today I'm reviewing a magazine. I've never done that before because magazines are relatively boring. However, these definitely deserve a review. These are the PTS, EPM, or Enhanced Polymer Magazine. They are... well, you'll find out. Before we get started, you guys need to check out Next Level Tactical's high quality new gear line. I'm going to put the link in the description below. It's nltgear.com. Use the coupon code PA2017 to get 20 freaking percent off. It's a lot of percent off. So for starters, I'm definitely pronouncing this wrong and I have no idea what it means either. But it's a DuPont Zytel Polymer Shelf, which is the outside of the magazine. And I don't know what that means, like I said, but it is strong as hell. You can abuse the shit. Of Yeah, you can really abuse the hell out of them, and they're, they're, they're really, really strong. I've done so much worse than that, by the way. So starting from the top of the magazine, literally all the way in the top, you can see that orange follower, which indicates when the magazine is empty. Another really cool feature about this magazine follower is when it's full, you can see right there next to the fake brass, you see that orange piece, which means the magazine is full and don't load it anymore because you will break it. Next up, on either side of the magazine, you have these recessed panels on both the front and the back with fake stippling, which significantly helps with grip and also looks really freaking cool. You have the fake brass right here. You have PTS's logo and a little bit of information over there. Next up, we have these magwell guides right here, sticking out over there on either side. As you can see, these supposedly help with reloading, meaning your Sear mag patches don't get tangled up with your magazines, but I find them very helpful for actually getting the magazine into your gun. Moving to the base plate, you'll notice that the magazine is angled down. The combination of this, this rubber extension piece, and the fact that the whole bottom of the base plate is rubberized helps with ergonomics a lot due to the fact that when you can reload better, you can grip the magazine better, and the magazine will grip onto surfaces. So if you want to rest your gun for a second or to even aim, that'll work very well. Finally, you have these dots on the bottom. This is if you want to count your magazines, you want to know like numbers for your magazines, you just fill them in to whatever number magazine that is. As far as color options go, you have the old 10, the old black, and the OD green version, which I do not have here, but if you really want to see it, you can look up OD green, PTS, EPM, and it should come up. Finally, you have the option to two-tone them, since the base plates are removable and interchangeable, since they're the same magazine, just different colors. You can two-tone them like this. I really enjoy the look of this, which is why I went with it. But you do you. It's got features, it looks awesome, it's extremely durable, but what good would a magazine be if it didn't feed properly? Let me just say that these magazines are by far one of the best feeding magazines I've ever used in my life. I tested in over 10 guns, no exaggeration. I tested Marui's, VFC's, a bunch of classic army guns, Lancer tactical guns, a whole bunch. And I've yet to find a feeding issue in any single one of them, which is incredible to me. Magazines can hold up to 150 BBs, which is awesome. Now it comes down to the real moment. Real moment? The moment of reality. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. I like that one. Do I recommend these magazines to you guys or not? The only con I could think of, literally the only downside that I could think of to these magazines, are the fact that they're 20 bucks a piece. I actually believe they used to be 25 a piece and they lowered it to 20, but I'm not sure. I don't really remember. Anyways, 20 bucks for a Mid-Cat magazine, let's say you need 6 year loadout or 5 year loadout or more, that's 100 plus dollars just on magazines. However, I think they're worth every single penny. For the features they offer, the durability, and how well they feed, I would pay 20 bucks any day, which is why I did. I paid 20 bucks, bought 6 of them, and do not regret that. They are incredible magazines. These magazines offer quite a lot, but I think that's about it for this review. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share, and follow me on Instagram at Planet Yourself. I post daily gun pictures over there. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.